Hey guys, Technomentary with the video for you guys. Today in this video, we're gonna be doing a speed test on the iPhone 12 Pro. As you can see here, I have the iPhone 12 Pro Gold Edition that we recently did an unboxing for that Apple has released in October. And in this video, we're gonna do the speed test to really test out to see where the benchmark for this one falls in comparison to the Apple devices out there. And is it worth upgrading if you're looking for speed? And in the video, at the end of the video, after we run the test, we're gonna do that comparison so you guys can make that decision. And to do that, we're gonna be using this app called and Tutu Benchmark, it's an app that you can download from the App Store to run it on any iOS devices that does benchmark testing. Before we dive into it, if you guys are new to our channel, we do a lot of tech news reviews and giveaways. So make sure to hit that uh, subscribe button for future giveaways. So let's go ahead and start this uh, video for you guys. So once you download the app, you'll see it. You can just open it up here. And then after you've done that, You'll probably get an ad because it is a free app, but it's a pretty popular app that everyone uses for testing. As you can see, I have the latest version of this bench benchmark app. This is the iPhone 12 Pro, and all we're going to do is hit that test button. And once you do that, it will start testing all of the features of the phone and starts with the graphics here. As you can see here, you can also see the visual, how good quality it is and such. Couple things about the iPhone 12 Pro, as you know, it's been released in October this year, 2020. Uh, some things to note is that the iPhone 12 Pro does come with one of the latest chip, like they do with every of their new iPhones they release in the September time frame. This is the A14 Bionic chip, which is supposed to be for their MacBook Pro. So they did kind of up their chip game in terms of using that chip on the smartphone to really increase the performance. And all Apple also stated that it is supposed to be one of the fastest, if not the fastest chip for a smartphone on the market currently. As you know, speed is kind of their name for any kind of smartphones nowadays is to have as much speed as they can. So as you can see, we're just going through the GPU test and there's gonna go over a bunch of tests and we'll be able to compare that later on in the video. A couple other things to note is that the internal RAM on this is a six gig RAM. So you have six gig compared to earlier devices which had much, much less. So, you know, as you wanna speed up the iPhone, you wanna add more RAM. So they added six gig of RAM, although internal memory starts at 128 gigs. So they did improve the internal memory where the base model in the past started with 64 gig. Now you have the 128 gig for the base model and then you have the upgraded storage. You can get 256 gig and 512 gig as well. Let's really talk about the iOS that comes with it. It's the iOS 14, the latest iOS and along with the iOS, you know, we mentioned that Apple has the A14 Bionic chip, which is supposed to be not five nanometer or so. And then the CPU is actually a four core for their graphic um, GPU that they have listed. And also for the CPU, they're using hexa core, um, two, two chip, two um, CPU that are 3.1 gigahertz known as Firestorm and the other one other four you have are 1.8 gigahertz ice storm so that's kind of the technical specs of it there's a lot more of course you can dive right into it but let's really look at this as you can see you know this is really testing for graphic lags and how it displays some of the more graphic heavy heavy intensive load on the CPU that is being utilized using by running this test on this app to really give us a nice overview. And if you guys are looking for more further unboxing even other videos for the iPhone 12 Pro, we did a couple other videos. Make sure you guys check those videos out if you guys are interested in those videos. One thing I really like about the iPhone 12 Pro is this, you know, the loudspeaker that comes with the stereo speakers the other thing you'll notice apple has fully mentioned about the is that it's video capability of dolby which is pretty much cinematic 
quality graphics that you have for your video recording and such. This is the first time Apple has released that. As you know, Apple and the Apple devices are pretty much very focused on just having exceptional experience with photography because they deem that they want the phones to be very much, you know, with cameras that are really good. So that's the one thing you'll notice. As you can see, we're still going through the testing here. We're down to 64%. We did the GPU test with some 3D game performance. Did some memory testing now down to CPU and is doing some operations here, different sorts of CPU testing that really test out the CPU and to really give us that final score. So it should be done pretty soon and we'll be able to give you guys the final score on the benchmark here. And then we'll compare with the other devices to see if really does give you much out of it. As you see right now, we have the multi-thread testing going on or the multitask testing. So one thing you'll notice about the iPhone uh, 12 Pro, if you guys haven't checked out the other video, is that this new part that it has the 5G antenna uh, capability, which you haven't seen a button. It's not quite a button. It's one thing that kind of threw me off. Um, a lot of people have mentioned that that is the 5G antenna. As you can see here, overall, this phone, you know, they're bringing the design of the iPhone 5, if you guys remember, the iPhone 5 was a much smaller phone, but it had a similar body design. So that's what, you know, when we unbox it, that's the first initial impression we got out of this. Uh, and as you can see here, we had some more testing. This is a pretty much like a scroll test on this um, and bunch of, I'm assuming, um, you know, tests to really give us that almost their kind of feel for the testing that is going on. If you guys also have any other questions around other videos that you want to make, uh, leave it in the comment section. We'll try to make those videos. We're going to also do a lot more comparison with other iOS devices in real time to see how, if you can really notice user experience speed on this. Although this benchmark will give us a good idea, but when you generally actually use two phones or a couple phones at once and test them out you can really feel the difference in terms of if the speed does matter or not as you can see right now it's doing a qr code test and it's running through a couple of that because you know whenever you scan a qr code it's important that you're able to read that as fast as possible and that the way that would work is kind of utilizing your the UX engine that's part of the phone. Alrighty, so as you can see here, so we got the score around 554,000. Keep in mind, the score is about roughly, you know, average when you run it multiple times. You're going to get slightly different and different numbers depending on uh, the typical run. You always get the average of that. So as you can see right now when we ran it, it came out 500,000, around 50 or so. I've seen it in the 60s and the 70s thousand as well. So, But the other thing you'll notice are these CPU number as you can see here. So now for us to really test it is actually Googling other benchmark scores that you'll notice for the iPhone 12 just to really know where it lands. So if we go here, Take a look at that. So they, in that website, they were able to get around around that mark. And if you look at the other side and really compare it, see, we're looking at the numbers. So around 550 to 570, I've seen as high as 509, 
90 or so. So there's different ones that you can get and we wanted to kind of compare that for you guys. And to really show that, as you can see, we're looking at other areas where they done it test. So most of them seem around 570. So for this one, it scored slightly lower, but nonetheless, you know, it does really tell us where the scores are and we're gonna go ahead and look at the comparison here. As you can see here, we have around the same number so 570 or so, so that pretty much proves that, you know, the average is around that much, which falls a little, it is actually a little bit faster than the iPhone 11 and the iPhone 12 Pro compared to some of the other results we have seen on that phone. So there you guys have it for the benchmark test. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you guys want further our videos, leave a comment in the comment section. We'll try to make that video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.